Okay, here's the final separate VHS collection I'll be able to do, and that is my 20th Century Fox VHS collection. And as you can see, just the same amount of my Columbia Dry Store VHS collection, which I already did, I have 7 tapes. 3 clamshells, 4 slip covers. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the clamshell tapes. The first one I got, which is the 1997 VHS release of Miracle on 34th Street. 1947 film, the 50th anniversary edition. Digitally mastered for superior sound and picture quality TX checks. A miracle of originally says New York Post. And that's in black and white, by the way. And it is approximately 97 minutes. Here's the vertical sticker label. And it's put on the 42nd week of 1997. But we're not done yet because the next one I got, which is the remake from 1994. This is the 1995 VHS release. Two thumbs up, says Cisco Neighborhood. And it's part of the 20th Century Fox family feature. Four stars. This is the new holiday classic that America has been waiting for, says Michael Mifford Sneak P Reviews. Read PG, and it is approximately 113 minutes. Here's the vertical sticker label, and it's put on the 37th week of 1995. Now, most copies have the print date up here, which, um,. I know Brandon the Movie Guy's copy has the print date up here instead of down here. And Fisher Rachel and Zach Reitler's copies have a print date down here instead of this side or the lid. Pretty interesting, I guess. And then the last clamshell tape I got would just jingle all the way. 1997 Beaches, 1996 film. Non-stop fun, says the Kids Network. Turbo packed with lots of laughs, says... Oh, turbo packed with lots of laughs for the entire film. You'll love this film, says... It's a big thing, film not variety... Adversity... Bored. Ah, I don't know why I kept screwing up that critical view. Ray PG and that's 85 minutes. Here's the vertical sticker stick label once again, and it's put on the 41st week of 1997. That's it for the clamshells. Now for the slip covers. The first one I got was just the 1991 which just released a Paul Malone 1990 Christmas movie. A family comedy without the family. Where well, Kevin's family left for a vacation, they forgot one minor detail. Kevin! VPG in it is 105 minutes. Use the tip of the body, goes to the label. And it's printed on the 25th week of 1991. There was used to be a barcode on there, but when it came, when I got it in the mail from Amazon, um, in December of 2014, the barcode fell off, so I decided to throw it out. But we're not done yet because the next one I got, which is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, 1993, features 1992 film, the sequel to the first movie. America's smallest hero takes a giant bite out of the Big Apple. RPG, and it is 120 minutes. Very long Home Alone movie out of the franchise. That I like to be exact. For the Ghost of Glee Bowl, and it's put on the 24th week of 1993. But we aren't still done just yet because the next one I got, which is Home Alone 3. 1998 features 1997 film. Better than the first two, says Roger Ebert Chicago sometimes. Although, most people might not say that because 
most people are actually neutral over the third movie or oh, hate the third movie. But yeah. Big laughs a real kid pleasure says Josie Go Good Morning America. APG that's one two minutes. And this is the last Home Alone movie I, li I like. After the fourth and fifth, they suck ass. So I'm sticking with the first three. But if you like the fourth and fifth movie, I respect your opinion. He's the vertical stick label, and it's putting on the 18th week of 1990. Ah, <sighs> oh, 17th week of 1998. Why am I screwing up birth dates today? Why? Okay, and here's the last feature as I got, which hopefully I'm not going to screw up the print date with this one, which is the 1996 VHS release of The Truth About Cats and Dogs, also 1996 film. Two thumbs up, says Cisco and Ebert. Warm, hearted, and hilarious. It's hard to imagine that we'll see a more pleasant romantic comedy this year, says Michael Mifford sneak previous PBS TV. RayPG.13 net is 97 minutes. Again with the vertical stick label and it's printed on the 33rd week of 1996. Alright, there we go. That's it for the 2016 edition of my 20th Century Fox Chess collection. Which is a pretty short amount of time for me to do this. And I believe I have one more collection video of VHS tapes to do. That is the rest of my VHS collection. The 2016 edition, also known as tapes I have not shown in the separate collection videos. And it will also include ones that I got recently. So yeah, stay tuned.